What's up guys, I'm super excited to share this rag A agent with you. Let's do a quick demo to show you how it works. So I'm gonna ask it one of the questions from our knowledge base. In a while I get response in audio format. Yes, if your flight is cancelled by the airline, you are entitled to a full refund or a free rebooking. That's absolutely correct. So behind the stage, we've got a agent set up in NNN. As knowledge base, we are using a document in Google Docs. And finally, Lowable is used as front-end. So guys, let's get started with NNN. Our NNN flow contains two separate pieces. And the first one is for user interaction or communication. And the second one is for uploading or updating FNQ information in our knowledge base. I feel like starting with this piece, and since we go this way, it's important now to go to your Google Drive and create a separate folder for testing purposes uh, with a testing file where you will place all your FAQ questions. I created one document and this is how I outlined it. I described every piece as problem and solution. When testing, you don't have to recreate absolutely the same, but it's better to keep uh, the same format. Once you're done, we can get back to NNN. So inside NNN, we've got two triggers first, file created or file updated. In this module, you're going to change your connection and here in folder you're going to specify the folder you just created on Google Drive. Basically what uh, this trigger does is every minute it just looks for new created files in a specific folder, in our case travel agency. If you take a look to file updated it does absolutely the same but just with file updating. At this point make sure to set your connection as well and over here uh, switch the folder name to, to yours. In the next step, we are going to set file ID and we just literally take uh, ID from the previous parameter. Next module is uh, delete all doc rows and it's used to delete previous documents in the super base if we are updating a file. At this point, you're gonna just set up connection here. To set up your connection, press create new credential, go to your super base project. When you're in super base project, go to project settings, go to data API and copy project you URL. Project URL is supposed to be inserted here and then for service role secret you're gonna reveal this, copy and insert it over here. Just press save. The next uh, module is used to download a file and at this point you're gonna just uh, set up here your connection. Here we're downloading file by its ID which we set up over here this step. Then we are extracting document text and at this point you don't really need to do anything. And then we'll use uh, Superbase module to insert insert uh, documents. But before that, one important note, for documents insertion, you will need uh, to follow a few steps. For this, you're going to press docs. Inside docs, you're going to find quick start for setting up vector store. And then you're going to copy this uh, SQL code, open your SQL editor and uh, press run. What we're doing this for is because we need to create Postgres extension to keep uh, vector embeddings inside our super base. And then we need to create a table for keeping documents and function match documents to potentially find documents in the future. Once you're done, you can get to next module and here we've got embeddings for OpenAI. To set this up, you will need to create a connection with your OpenAI account. To do so, uh, press create new credential, go to your OpenAI account to get a key, go to OpenAI API keys section, create new secret key, create key, copy it and insert it over here and save. In the next modules, you won't really change anything but I still need to explain how it works. So here we got default data loader and text splitter. Both modules are used to upload data in a super waste vector store. And, and I suppose this is the most important character text splitter. What it does is it actually finds a word problem and uses this word as separator between each piece. So let's say if you've got a problem over here, like all this piece is gonna be inserted as one document inside our vector store. Now we're all set with this piece, let's check it out. Just press test workflow. If you set up everything correctly, you can go to your super base, you can go to your documents table, and here you can see few documents created. So as I was saying, each piece is organized by a content after the word problem. So in this specific case, it's whatever going below here. Hey guys, also check out our base school community where you'll find global course with focus on privacy, how to set up a super base, and even things like how to edit applications with Cursor. Additionally, we've got a bunch of AI guides over here and calls two times a week.
Now let's take a look at the other piece, how it works. So here everything starts with uh, when chat message received. It's basically the input for testing purposes and it is for us to have a chance to see this open chat and to use it. Next we've got AI agent and here in the site agent we've got open AI functions agent. For the prompt user message we've got the when chat message received, so it's this module. Inside system message we've got really simple system message uh, saying hey you're a helpful assistant at travel agency, you help answer questions about our services with knowledge base just in case i'm giving a few important notes that knowledge of uh, our knowledge base it is to avoid it from thinking of some like extra knowledge which is not related to our company then we're connecting chat model or a brain of our agent and here you can use the credentials you created at this step then to give our agent uh, some simple memory i'm going to use postgres chat memory and at this point you will need uh, to set up your connections. To do so, you're going to set create new credentials. You're going to go back to your Superbase project, press connect. And then over here, you need to go to transaction pooler. Here, you're going to get information about your host. Then you're going to get user. Then here in password, you're going to set your database password. Inside database, you can take your database password and you can reset it in case you didn't save it like me. So I'm going to just copy it and reset the password. Then we're coming back here here inserting password and finally we need to set up port and the port will be this press save if everything is fine you will see the message that connection tested successfully basically what this module will do will save all user interactions inside a separate table which is called nnn chat histories you don't need to create this table manually nnn is gonna set it all for you so the final is our tool for documents retrieval here you can see the tool connected and if you open up we can see this is tool which is used for the case when Whenever customer asks questions about our services, so you're gonna use this tool. Here are a few pieces connected. Uh, first one is chat model, which uh, you already, I suppose, connected. At this point, you will need to specify your credentials, which you already created. Then here in vector store, you're gonna also switch uh, to your your credentials. And a few words about this module: what it does, it's responsible for documents retrieval based on user input, based on user requests. So it's gonna use function called match documents, and this is the function you created a while a go at this point so this is how it's gonna work so now let's check it out let's see if it's working and i suppose i want to ask it a question will i be refunded if my flight is cancelled by airline so i asked this question and yeah i can see that it used our knowledge base and the answer is absolutely correct yes if your flight is cancelled by the airline you're entitled to a full refund or a free rebooking now let's uh, set up lowable application. Inside lowable, we're gonna go to dashboard. On dashboard, we're gonna set up our prompt. In the prompt, I'll, I'll say, hey, set up landing page for travel agency there will be chat icon for contacting customer support and when click chat window open so after waiting for a while our application is done i can see that landing looks great looks smooth and also there's customer support feature where we can type something looks good so now let's start to connect this to our agent behind the stage i made sure to refactor it in uh, for successful connection to lowable first you can see that i removed chat trigger node this is done because uh, communication via HTTP requests with webhook and webhook responses the only way for application to interact. So here I set up post HTTP request, respond using respond to webhook node because in the end we will be responding to webhook. Then over here in prompt I specified instead of uh, reference to chat trigger mode i set up a json body message because there will be message inside our json body from webhook in postgres chat memory i set up key as one for testing purposes boring text responses i decided to turn into audio files with 11 labs and at this point what i'm doing is i'm using text-to-speech post request method to convert output from our agent to audio file at this point you're gonna switch api key what you're gonna do you're gonna set up yours to do so you're gonna go to 11 labs here in 11 labs you're gonna go to your workspace api keys and here you're gonna set create api key press create and save it and set up over here finally i added respond to webhook and what it does it responds with binary file binary because we generate binary file with 11 labs so what it does it will respond to webhook so and final thing to connect uh, the agent to lovable there will be a few changes so messages from 
chat will be sent to a specific webhook and the, the address of the webhook we can be taken from here from production URL then responses in chat will be the webhook responses and webhook responses will be audio files or binary data so you are sending this and wait for lovable to refactor it so lovable is done on my side so I'm going to preview the application and check it out so I'm gonna say hello hello how can I assist you today awesome it works so now let's ask this uh, some question from our knowledge base let's ask it if I can get refund if uh, my flight is cancelled by airline company response is done yes if your flight is cancelled by the airline you are entitled to a full refund or a free rebooking if you need assistance with the refund process, feel free to ask. Awesome, it works. Now let's ask it how long refund takes. Refunds typically take 714 business days to appear on your original payment method after approval. If you haven't received it after 14 days, please contact our support team for assistance. Yeah, that's completely correct. Okay, guys, I was super excited to share all of this with you. Please share your thoughts and comments. In case you face any questions, please let us know. And see you soon again.